I was so lucky to try a pre-production S2 Baja board, a prototype that really impressed. The company reduced the weight, the size, the complexity, less moving parts, and I thought, well, this board is not going to be what I expect from Baja board brand. It turned out that after all the reduction made, Baja board team were able to increase handling, turnability, acceleration, power output, overall coming out with amazing performance and a smaller package. The board takes the corner so fast and easy and has the best maneuverability compared to all other boards I have tried so far. It is super quick, nimble and easy to operate and ride. The deck really allows you to make a wide, comfortable stand. Previously only G3 and G4 were the only one options for me to ride this way and not have the wheel bite. Of course the G4X is an extreme off-road machine and S2 will not be able to match that power and performance level. But for medium off-road like trails and muddy roads, S2 handles areas so well where Trampa and Lacroix will not go through. The S2 has 45% incline capabilities. First look at the board, analyzing the chassis, drivetrain and the all S2 design. Comparing to my custom G3X, which has more power than the new Pantera, I thought, well, this is going to be such a disappointment because all the cuts the company made. I was actually really confused at the beginning of the test ride. I took the S2 for a two hour ride to really understand and connect with the new model. I was really surprised to learn that the S2, after all the reductions and simplifications, has to offer more than G4 line. For the city use, getting inside the elevators or tight spaces, S2 is so much more comfortable. It's lighter and easy to handle. Don't get me wrong, the S2 is so much smaller and so much lighter, but the acceleration and the power output, it's still there. It has the Baja board signature. This model has a crazy acceleration. I reduced my G3X power output from 90 amps to 40 amps on all four speed controllers. At 90 amps previously, I was getting too much power. It was just so dangerous to always have this power available. So I reduced the power to 40 amps on each motor. Even at 40 amps, the S2 actually took off faster than my G3X. Of course, after 50 meters, the G3X just overpowered, but I don't think there is any production or even DIY that will pass S2 from complete standstill to full acceleration. It is just mind-blowing how the board is geared and with 110 amp Kelly controllers, the S2 is a monster. The Baja board company is the only one today that makes off-road e-boards that have a stiff deck with a shock system that gives you the performance and the feel that's so much more comfortable and so much better than any flexible setup. With S2, G4 or G4X, you can tackle high speeds that you won't be able to do with a flexible deck. With S2, the shock system cancels all the vibrations and allows you to ride for hours. And this system is so much smoother and makes your ride so much safer. If you drive through a crack or a hole that you don't see or you can't avoid due to the traffic, these boards will go right through and you'll barely feel anything. The deck has a very nice concave that locks your feet in. You can add bindings to the deck so easy that will allow you to have even more control while doing off-road. The S2 offers two suspension options, coil for lighter riders and air shocks for heavier riders. The two shocks will allow you each wheel individually to absorb all vibrations giving the best comfortable ride. The S2 system is the only off-road model that will allow you to mount from 7 up to 10 inches tires in order to get the clearance you need to your suitable riding style. The drivetrain is so ingeniously tucked in into the chassis of the board protecting the sprockets and the belts from impact and debris. Really clean design. Top speed of the model with 8 inches is 55 km an hour or 34 miles an hour and 60 km an hour or 37 miles an hour with 10 inch wheels. Range, it gets up to 37 miles with 1 AV battery and up to 18 miles with 600 watt battery. We have two options for the motors. We can choose two 6374 or two 6358 at the rear wheel. Recharge time for 600 watt battery takes about two hours and a half and for the one kilowatt battery four hours. This is the only board that comes with a flash light that actually is powerful enough that can be used off-road. Also this model has options that I have never seen on any other electric skateboard. You can actually choose brake lights and turning signal indicators which is amazing. The lightest uh, configuration is 34 pounds or 15.5 kilograms and the heaviest configuration is 19.5 kilograms or 43 pounds. I think the S2 is the most capable e-board on the market today offering options that no one else is capable yet. I hope um, I covered all the aspects of the model and if you have any questions please comment below and I'll do my best in answering.
Okay. Yeah, what if I go over the right side? Are you 10s or 12s? 12. 12s? Oh, you should be fine. Like 10, 10. 12s. How many? Uh, 12s five. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Okay, fine. All right. Fine. All right, guys. So you want to hold that in for three seconds? Keep the gear, man. More power than you think. More power than you think. Go, go, go. Way more. Oh. <laughs> give her, give her, give her, give her. Go, go, go. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. Always wear a helmet, be safe on the road, and I'll see you next time.